Hi, uh, this is a question on coding and decoding. Uh, it's moderate level question. It's not difficult. And if you have in the practice of solving those bank level papers, etc., this question should not be very difficult to solve. Let's see what this says. According to a coding scheme, the sentence peacock is designated at the national bird of India is coded as this. There's some number schemes which are given, right? The coding scheme has the following rules. It is case insensitive which means whether you have capital I or small i, capital J or small j, it will be the same code. Each letter has a unique code, which is a single digit from 1 to 9. Okay, each letter has... Now, given that there are 26 alphabets and there are only 9 digits, digits will be repeated. <coughs> now, let's see what this is. Digit 9 codes 2 letters, while every other digit codes 3 letters. So, 1 to 8 will have 3 letters each. So, for example... One can code A, C, and K, something like that. This might be the not be the case, right? But it can code only three digits, whereas nine can code only two digits. And you can check eight into three is twenty-four plus two, twenty-six alphabets are coded. The code for a word is constructed by arranging the digits corresponding to the letters in a non-increasing sequence. So, if according to the sentence, if it comes as four and three, the code will come out as thirty. Right, it will be put in increasing order. Right, so we need to figure out which code is which. Let's try to figure the codes out before we go to the questions. Okay, uh, now let's start with the smallest letters. If you look at is and as, right, both of us have a, both of them have an s in common and both of them have a five in common. Right, both of them have a five in common, so five should be s which also means I should be 3 and A should be 6. Right, so I can take this out. Okay, so now let's take out all the A's and A, S and I's from here. This has an A. A was 6, so one of the 6 will be gone. I, there are two I's, so two 3's will be gone. Right, uh, I here so three one of the threes will be gone national one of the threes will be gone a a six so one of the six will also be gone two sixes will be gone there are two a's here two sixes will be gone this okay designated s so there's a five gone there's an i here so three is gone a here so six is gone Right, A here, so 6 is gone. Right, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, now what else do we have? We have this much. So let's look at India now. It already has, we have removed two I's and an A here. So 1 out of N or D should be 1, another should be 6. One of them should be 1, one of them should be 6. Now if you look at bird here, Right, it also has a D in it, and it ha only has a one in it. The there is no six available, so D has to be D has to be one. Right, D has to be one, which means the six will be for N. Right, six will be for N. So I can remove the D here. This is completely gone. Okay, let's look at national. Uh, N is 6, so two sixes are also gone. Uh, D, D is 1, so the two ones are gone. Okay, N, 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 there's an N here, so 6, one of the sixes is also gone. All the sixes are gone here. Now, okay, let's move further. Okay, <coughs> now, uh, let's look at off okay off basically has an o in it and an f in it there is no other f anywhere but an o is present in peacock right there is a nine here there's a nine here seven is not present here so o has to be seven o has to be o has to be nine which means f has to be seven so this is out and one of the o's is out 
uh, where else do you have an F? There is no F here. National. There is an O here. So 9 is out. Okay. Now, from national, we have a T. We don't know the code for. Right. Uh, o was 9. Right. T we don't know a code for. And L we don't know the code for. T and L we don't know the code for. So one of them will be 1, other will be 8. One of them will be 1, other will be 8. Now if you go to D, D has an 8 in it but not a 1. So T has to be 8. Which means L has to be 1. Right. So national is also taken care of. Right. H. Right. So 8 is taken care of. One of them is 4, one of them is 5. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, we have a peacock here. Okay, there are... There are two C's. Okay, there are two 9's available. Right? There are two 9's available. Right? Now, if these two 9's represent two different alphabets, right, then you will have three different alphabets for 9, but we know that 9 codes only two letters. Which means both these nine represent the same alphabet and the only alphabet which repeats is C. So C should be nine. Right? C is gone, O is gone, here is gone. Right? We also have A gone from here. <coughs> right? Now if you look at D, right? Here I have T and H, which is four and five. Sorry, a T and uh, H and E, which is 4 and 5. And there is only 5 available. So E should be 5. H should be 4. Right. So this is done. This is done. Right. So P and K should be both 8s. Right. So Peacock is fully done. Okay. Let's move further. So I've already done the, so T will come here. T was eight. Eight, four was, four was H. The is done. Right, so now we are left with these two alphabets and R and D. R and D, one of them will be R and B. One of them will be three, one of them will be four. Okay. And what is left here? G and S is done. E. Okay. Uh, T is already done here. T is eight. Right. So G has to be seven. So R and B, one of them should be three, one of them should be four. This should be R or B, this should be B or R. Right? One of them should be three, one of them should so except for these two, I can figure out all the other values. Right? Uh, anything else left? One, all these are done. Right? So L was there. L is one here, right? L is here. Right, so I have figured out all the letters as of now. Okay, so except for R and B, I can figure out all the other codes. Okay, so let's go to the questions. What can be best concluded about the code for letter L? Letter L is one for sure, option four. What can be concluded about the code for B? Now B we don't know for sure, it can be three or four, so option four. How many digits can the complete list of letters associated with that digit be identified? Okay, now we know each digit codes 3 except for 9 which codes 2. So 9 is completed, 8 is completed. All the others we don't know for sure. So only 2 we know for sure. And the last one, which set of letters cannot be coded with the same digit? Okay, now XYZ, we don't have any XYZ here and all three of them can take 2. So it is possible that they take 2. S, U and V, we already know S. S is 5. Now, if I put U and V also as 5, 
there will be four letters which will be coded by five because E is also coded by five. So this is not possible. So this is your correct answer. IBM is possible. M we don't know. So M can come here. SEZ is possible. Z we don't know. It can come here. Everything else is possible. SUV is not possible. So this is a question which requires some amount of patience, right? If you transfer it onto a piece of paper, it is much, much faster to do than what we did, right? And you need to just figure out which alphabet is where. Once you do that, it'll take about four to five minutes to figure that out. Rest of the questions are pretty straightforward to do. That completes this particular question.